Hey there, it's Daniel from thegoodax.com where you can get free Google Docs templates and guides. In this video, we add more fonts to Google Document Workspace. By default, you have the good old Arial font set to every new document. But there is so much more of them, even behind this font selection menu that shows just a little of what there actually is. And we're here to finally take full advantage of that. So, to go beyond Alfred fonts, go to the top toolbar, to the font selection menu next to the font size settings. There will be the name of the last font that you have used, or the Arial default font, and press it. Here on the menu, we click the first item, More Fonts, and you are in the font search menu. Google does not allow us to upload and use custom fonts in the documents. But there are hundreds of them here for free to use on your own and even the free commercial use. Ok, now we want to pick a few of them to add to our workspace for permanent use. And you can either search for the font name here, if you know it, or scroll down to see a wide selection and pick something you'd like to use in your document. Now that you've made your choice, press once on a line with the font. The text will change its color to blue and a check mark will appear left to it, meaning the font was selected. And now you will see it here on the right below My Fonts, which are the fonts that will be added to your workspace after you finish. And you can keep going down to discover more fonts. And what's left here? On top, there's basically a filter setting, since the number of fonts is huge. Script type, view options, and the sorting type. So, when you're done choosing fonts, press OK here in the bottom left corner and you're back to your workspace. But the new fonts were added. And you can locate them in the font selection menu. They will appear right here. Now, let's apply the newly added font to some portion of the text. Highlighting the piece of text, opening the menu, and pressing on a recently added font. Here we go. Successfully applied and it will remain here. And also, I want to mention that within some fonts come a few variations. Meaning, if there's such an arrow next to a font name, you can drag the mouse to it and select a certain variation. That's mostly it. Hundreds more guides and a lot of free Google Docs templates on the goodax.com following the link below the video. Like to help share our videos to more people and subscribe to see more guides. I hope we helped you. Thank you for watching.